Hello and welcome to this video uh, which is video number 119 and it's on compound measures speed distance and time specifically this one so keywords are compound and s d and t I've already said what those things are actually so compound is when you join things together so you can join the units together and you get a compound unit that's what we call these things um, or compound measure um, S, D, and T, st S stands for speed, D stands for distance, and T stands for time. Now, speed is the compound measure here. If you smash the units of distance and time together, you get speed, um, uh, or the, the units for speed. And that's the compound thing there, because you're putting those two units together. Now, there's a lovely formula triangle that you can remember to help you with these sorts of questions, and it's right here, S, D, and T. All right, the, the line here means divide. Right, and then you've got these two that you're multiplying together. Doesn't matter which way around they go, but it's nice to remember it as SDT, the SDT triangle. So I've already mentioned what they mean. Cover over the thing that you want to find, and the calculation you need to do is clear. So if you want to find speed, you cover over S, right, and it tells you to do D divided by T, right? That's why speed is equal to distance divided by time, all right? Now distance is equal to speed multiplied by time, and time is equal to distance divided by speed. OK, and there's our three calculations we can get from this particular formula triangle. All right. Now, number one, A, calculate the speed when the distance is 60 meters and the time is five seconds. So speed is equal to D over T. Always like to do this. Just write it out like that. S equals D, which is 60 M and uh, which stands for meters and five seconds, five S. All right. Let's just put six. So um, 60 divided by 5 is 12. Speed equals 12 meters per second. All right. That is the answer to that question. The speed equals 12 meters per second. All right. There's our compound units all smashed together. Right. Calculate the distance when the speed is 30 miles an hour and the time is two hours. You notice these are different units uh, to the first question. It doesn't matter. Uh, we can convert those things, but there'll be a different video for that. So uh, calculate distance when uh, that is that. So distance equals speed multiplied by time. So distance equals speed, which is 30 mph multiplied by two hours. So three times two is six. And so 30 times two is 60. And that would be uh, the units of miles. Right. All right. There you go. Now, I know that because that was in miles per hour. MPH stands for miles per hour. So the units of distance must be in miles. All right. And then calculate the time if the distance is 100 kilometers and speed is 20 kilometers per hour. So the time equals the distance divided by the speed. Time equals 100 km divided by 20 kmph. Um, that that's because it's in per hour every hour the answer is going to be in hours and 100 divided by 20 is 10 divided by 2 which is 5 hours all right so there you go there's our uh, three basic speed and distance and time calculations uh, nothing too complicated going on and then in number two we get a bit of context so calculate the average speed of a coach that travels 240 miles in five hours and 15 minutes, state the units of your answer. Now, um, I do want to show you how you can do these calculations on a calculator because it is useful to know how to do that. Um, we've got a mixture of units here, five hours and 15 minutes. So let's just um, think about converting that first of all. So th I said there'll be a separate video for converting these sorts of things, but uh, we do need to kind of understand it just a little bit, a minor bit for these questions. Uh, 15 minutes is how much of an hour? It's a quarter of an hour. Remember, 60 minutes in every hour. So you've got 15 out of 60, uh, which is uh, 0 0.25. Yeah, so that's 5.25 if you uh, like on the calculator or, all right, and this is, this is what's easiest to do, right? You go five hours and 15 minutes on the calculator, right? And then you press equals and it brings that up, I know, but then you press S to D and it tells you how many hours it is, right? 5.25, right? So I'm gonna write that down, five hours and 15 minutes equals 5.25 hours. We've just got it in one unit now right one unit of time we don't want the mixed units 
can't really do any calculations with that. So 5.25 hours is what we've got there. Now that's now that's sorted. We can do this question relatively simply. Um, average speed. So speed equals distance divided by time. Speed equals distance, which is 240 miles. And the time is now we know 5.25 hours. All right, miles per hour. All right, that line stands for per miles per hour. There's our units of our answer. So that's all we got to do on the calculator. 240 divided by whatever we just got there, actually. So 240 divided by that answer that we had is equal to, um, and I'll just press S to D because that was still a time calculation there, 45.7124. That's an awkward number, right? But let's just round it to 45.7. And that'll be mph miles per hour. There's our answer. We just pop it on the answer space there. All right. I hope that makes sense. Tricky one. Um, right. Moving over. Let's have a little look at the third question. Chris drives 74 miles from Aldershot to Bletchley in one hour and 36 minutes. He then drives from Bletchley to Cardiff at exactly the same average speed. And it takes three hours and one minute. What is the distance between Cardiff and Bletchley? So um, the ultimate goal here is to work out the distance between two places. Um, we know some other information, so let's try and work out what we can and then use that to work out this. So Chris drives 24 miles between these two places in one hour and 36 minutes. So we've got the distance and we've got the time. So we can get the speed. So I'm going to write down speed uh, between A and B, all shot and Bletchley, equals uh, 74 miles divided by one hour and 36 minutes let's work that out on a calculator what that is so one hour and 36 minutes equals one hour and 36 minutes zero seconds which is eight fifths of an hour which is as a decimal 1.6 so we know if we do 74 divided by that we'll get our answer to the speed 46.25 mph that's our speed right we needed that because he drives from Bletchley to Cardiff exactly the same average speed so that's you we're using this now in our uh, calculation for the distance okay so the distance between B and C equals um, the uh, speed multiplied by the time so 46 0.25 mph multiplied by uh, three hours and one minute well again we can work that out as a decimal three hours one minute equals i'm going to use the fraction there 181 over 60 and that is going to be an answer so multiply that by 46.25 139.52 and there we go that is the answer in miles so 139.5 miles let's just take that to let's get rid of that too all right uh that's a, a reasonable enough answer to one decimal place all right there you go. There is um, everything that you need to know in the world of compound measures for speed and distance and time. There is uh, another two compound measures uh, that we will deal with, and that is uh, density, mass and volume and pressure force area. Um, but yeah, you can use the same sorts of formula triangles for those. Um, and you actually only need to remember the density mass volume one. Anyway, that's it for this one. There'll be another speed distance time thing with more complicated calculating uh, converting the measures uh, video but for now thanks for watching this one i hope you take care of yourselves look after one another click the link in the description to practice and uh, have a lovely rest of your day cheers